So I bought this Bluetooth voice far field car charger on Amazon. I thought it'd be cool to review. It looks sharp, looks fancy. Here's what it looks like in person. It does look sharp, it does look fancy. But the big question is, why don't I just use my phone's voice assistant? They're the same. Why bother using this VC100? So plugging it in is super simple. Just put it into your cigarette charger. And I have one, it just so happens to be in this 2021 Genesis uh, G80 luxury car. But I think this is probably best for older cars that don't have some of the updated technology, but we can use it in the new cars as well. Because look at this, it has two USB ports so you can utilize those to charge your phone. But the big feature is the voice controls. After it's plugged into your vehicle, then you need to connect it via Bluetooth. And I've done that and it shows up as G-O-V-O-C-E and then some numbers behind it. It might be different on your phone. After that, we have to tune in the FM radio, which where is where those older cars will come into play because they will have that. I've set my frequency to 89.3. Here are some of the commonly used voice controls. With your Android, you say, okay, Google. With the Apple, you say, oh my gosh, it said, it heard, okay, Google on my iPhone. Otherwise, you'd say, hey, Siri. As you can see here, it starts to spin at the bottom. So here's some examples of how you can just use your voice with this device to control everything on your phone. Watch. Hey Siri, play the Dan Patrick Show podcast. Okay, the Dan Patrick Show podcast now playing. Everyone together in a new virtual room. Collaborate live. Building ideas on the same page. Hey Siri, call Jerry Post. Calling Jerry Post. Mobile. Hey Siri, play music from Pandora. One moment. Here's Get Back Radio on Pandora. Let's do the same thing, but I'll press the button here on the device. Hey Siri, where's the closest coffee house? The nearest one I found is LJ's Cafe, about 4.5 miles to your north on East Westwood Avenue in Chatteroy, which averages 4.0 stars. It's open today from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Want to try that one? No, thank you. Hey Siri, where's the closest gas station? The nearest one I found is Exxon, about 2.4 miles to your west on US 395, but I don't seem to have any rating information for it. It's open today from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Does that one sound good? Yes. Perfect. I can call that location or get directions to it. What would you like me to do? Get directions. And here's some good news according to their website. It has a one-year warranty, 14 days return, free shipping, and they have 24 seven online chat support. So my biggest concern with today's technology and the new cars and the new phones is how is this device any different than what my phone can offer? So here's what they say on their website. This VC10 has a built-in noise cancellation to pick up your voice in loud environments where, whether it's music, wind, street noise, or other noise from outside, your phone may not be able to hear you in loud environments. It has far field voice recognition and you can issue commands from a far distance, three to five meters, which most phones don't have. This VC100 has offline voice commands as opposed to your phone's voice assistant, which won't work offline. If you wanna use your car stereo as a speaker, you can only use Bluetooth from your phone. If your car stereo doesn't have Bluetooth, then it won't work. VC100 only needs an FM radio, which most cars should have. I do see a place and purpose for this. Maybe not so much with today's vehicles, but with some of the older models that don't have um, uh, USB ports, that don't have uh, smart technology already built into their car, I think this would be a good little option to have. I'll put a link in the description below. But for my money, I'd probably skip it unless you just want a couple extra USB ports. Thanks for watching. I'm Dave Erickson. See you next time. Adios. Thanks for watching. Please cr click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.